Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bright Ops, and welcome back to Battle Brothers. We recently fin- well, it's not so much that we chose to finish this, the Peasant Mob series, it's more that it was ended for us. But these things happen, and all you can do is start again. And that's what we're going to do. Because I'm kind of interested in this one, and unlike before, because up to this point we've either done the tutorial, Peasant Mob was still like difficulty one, but in this case we're going to try something a bit more hardcore. Lone Wolf. You've been traveling alone for a long time, taking part in tourneys and sparring with young nobles. A hedge knight told the tree you never needed anybody for, for long. Is it true still? The special rules for this one. Lone Wolf, start with a single experienced hedge knight and great equipment but low funds. Elite few, can never have more than 12 men in your roster. And Avatar, if your hedge knight dies, the campaign ends. Alright. Let's see, permanent destruction, what? Let's see, what spanner are we gonna go with? Let's see... Really should've put- I've always been bad at naming things, I will admit. Let's... Yeah, let's go with the Dragon's Maw for the company name. Fair enough. Let's see to do. Iron Man on. Let's run. You walk the stands of a jousting arena. Moldy fruits and vegetables litter the floor. Dried blood frickles the seats, and silence fills the air. When you sit, the wood of the place seems to groan in unison as though discomforted by the haunt of a rare visitor. In your hands is a note. Looking for hardy men, knowledge of the sword preferred, but all welcome. It is an old note, its purpose long since served, but what draws your eye is the price offered to the task. More crowns than you could muster in five tournaments. If this is the coin to be earned, then to hell with the joust and the sparring. But you're not one to suit up for, for, for some other captain's orders. With all that you've earned over the years, you imagine you'd start your own mercenary band just fine. And that's what we'll do. So just for the sake of looking, our first character, who is basically representing us. So in this case, normally I would... Normally I would... Ah. Uh, <sighs> Sorry, bit of a tickle at the back of my throat. Oh boy, we're also fat. So max fatigue is down, but we get a bit more hit points, so... Whatever. Okay. One level. Two. Let's see, just boosting our ability to wield the sword, plus our melee defense, because we kinda need it. And we'll also boost max fatigue, just for... Because I'm hoping that if we can swing the sword a bit more than usual, that would really help us out. Student, Colossus... And Brawny. We'll grab Brawny for this time. Gives us a bit more stuff for what we've got. So yeah, we got some pretty decent equipment. Though not really a lot of gold. And we're starting off at a citadel, so... Or a keep, so we can't actually get a job here. We can, however, recruit. Let's see, Weaponsmith, Fletcher, Training Hall, Armourer. Let's see... I could spend all my money into a leveled up Savage, but I kind of don't want to. Let's see... Refugee... Apprentice... Boa... 
Deserter. Boa. Let's see, Hedge Knights and Retired Soldier, we can't afford. Let's see, Ratcatcher. Well, we're gonna take... We are gonna take some dregs, I think. An apprentice will do. And let's see who what have we picked up. So we've got our guy. Alright, our first person who is Brett the apprentice who is brave as a starting trait, which is good. We will just pick this at random from the list. Do, 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 do. Argle. Argle. Hang on, there was more. There was a number to this. Damn it, I've lost, lost its place on the sheet. I saw it before. Ah, there it is. 228. Let's see. Gwimwald, the rat catcher who has iron lungs. Good. In this case, we will go with Lord Zell. And finally, our refugee, who is disloyal and faint-hearted. Okay. Alright, let's... Yeah, why not? Lone Wolf Jack. Lone Wolf Jackson seems a good choice for you. But yes, now we have to actually give them arms and armor. Which can be expensive, not gonna lie. However, we can... That's why we went to the marketplace rather than an actual... Rather than the actual... Ah. Let's see, cheap weapon, cheap weapon. Unfortunately, the weapons are not cheap here. Though the shields are. And... Yeah, we'll grab some additional grain just to give us some more food. Alright. Let's just have a quick look at the map. Who's... Let's see, we've got the southern states down there. There are only a... P oh wait, we have a small faction up north. But it's only really got the one castle. So dragon faction here is pretty damn big. Actually, let's... You know what, we'll start... We'll start by working down here, because it's, to be fair, it's relatively near where we're going. It's relatively near where we're starting. Yes, they're the biggest, but we're not really going to be worrying too much about the actual nobility for a while. So we'll, mate, we'll get, we'll start up. We'll work with the villagers and see where we go from there. Oh wait. Oh, I'm... I am an idiot. I almost comp completely forgot to actually equip them. To be fair, we, we'll probably sell the nets because... We'll sell the nets because it'll probably help, help us afford weaponry. <laughs> kind of important. I kind of want these guys to actually be able to fight. Alright, so you've got a... Alright, what's your contract? No idiot, hold the... Let's see. As you enter Kirk of Den... Dokenweld's room, he and one of his servants are nailing a box shut. Good seeing you, Cell Sword. One moment, please. No idiot, hold the nail that way. I know I hit your thumb before, but I won't do it again. His servant reluctantly holds a nail while the man hammers it home. Finished, he wipes the sweat off his brow and looks at you. I need this here crate delivered to... Sl to St. Len Sir Lendorf, about a day southwest by road. It's going to Ulfric the steward, you know, him. 
All right, I know maybe you don't know him. What I do know is that this may not ordinary be your line of work, but I'm willing to pay some serious crowns to see for you to see it through. That's your real business, right? Earning some crowns? How much? 330? Ah, oh, yes, because we're a leveled up person, we can we can get away with asking a little bit more, so 360 for an escort. Okay, we can work with this. Quickly sell that net to try... Sell net in this crapola. It's not much, but it gives us something to work with. Alright, what can we... Alright, two maces and a knife. It's not... I will admit, not ideal, but it's at least better than nothing. At least they've got weapons now, so... Hang on. Oh, this isn't an actual caravan, this is... We're actually walking that way. Alright. I have to admit, I'm kind of curious as to how... This big... Big... Big dragon faction kind of got so big. Just curious, honestly. But yeah, 300 gold is definitely worth it, if only because... If nothing else, it will allow us to... Well, it'll allow us, it'll allow us to purchase some proper weaponry and sh another shield. Effectively upgrade our armor a bit too. Alright, I think we can fast forward a little bit. Alright, we have enough. Alright, money made it. Ulrich the Storad welcomes you and a few of his men hurry over to take the cargo. He claps you on the shoulders. I take it your journey went well. You spare on the details and inquire about your pay. Bah, a skull saw through and through. Baldrin, get this man what he deserves. One of his bodyguards walks over and hands you a small chest of crowns. Wonderful. Let's see, the villagers are terrified and ambushed... Ambushed caravan routes. We can work with this. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, first off we... I do want a dec uh, decent shield so for our last guy, so... Lone Wolf, have a shield. As for weapons... Well, I do kind of also want head armor, but... Alright. We'll go with a... We'll go with a butcher's knife. So Lord Zell has an actual proper weapon. Let's see what we get. Heinrich the merchant wrestling walks up and down while stepping down and then stopping now and then to address you. The folks are in turmoil. Graves in the cemetery have been found opened and raided. Some simpleton claims to be the dead rising from the graves. Superstitious nonsense. It's quite obviously some grave robbers audacious enough to come to Slickendorf and plague us with their greedy presence. He bangs his fist on the table in anger. Go out to the cemetery and end this nuisance once and for all. How much? 450? Can we get more? 490? Okay. What's the other one? Uldref sh angrily shakes his head. Brickens have been tearing up these parts for far too long. I sent a lad, Albedurt's son, to go find them. And you know what? Only his head came back. Of course, the idiot brigands sent one of their own to deliver it. We captured and interrogated him. So now we know where they're at. The man leans back, peddling his thumbs over one another in thought. I do not have the men, but I do have the crowns. What say I slip some your way and you slip swords theirs? Let's see, 340? We can get 370. I think we'll start with the br with the potential for brigands. And we will need allies. I, I'm not... Considering we've only got four people, we are not comfortable enough to actually go raid something. Alright, there you are. We'll go deal with this first. 
my logic being we'll deal with humans first because I'd rather not face the undead until we can potentially get a bit more working with us. Alright, some brigand thugs. So let's see, four versus f four versus five. We can do this. We also we do need to get some proper bloody headgear at some point too. All right, we'll wait a turn just to let's. All right, we'll, we'll go. We'll see if we can actually let them get any closer first before we moved. Stunned? Can we stun another? Nope. We can, however, just completely destroy that guy. gone. Basically, these guys just have to live. Oh. Yeah, he got smacked in the head. Yeah, that would do it. I'm really hoping you lived. Cause I'd re Cause damn it, it's early days. Alright. Like considering that we didn't actually start off with a lot of cash, I would rather Run him down. Why am I running him down? Because stuff and we need... We kind of need the... Okay, Argul, we can tart, you, but you're alive. That's good, we got supplies, we kind of needed them. <laughs> if nothing else, we can sell this, we can sell some of this crap. We can sell some, potentially hire more people. Let's see, just checking while we're at it. Let's see, light wound, light wound, light wound. Like, you've got the weakened heart, which sucks, but... What can you do? Garbison. On the plus side, we can at least upgrade Lone Wolf, so... And we have some spare armor, and we have some spare stuff in order to actually give to someone else. Actually, wait, 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 what? Short sword. You know what? I'm happy, I'm happy to replace some stuff. We got some money, and they've no longer got ambushed trade routes. Let's see, Ul Edward. Of Stundledorf leans back on his chair, folding his hands over his lap. Cell swords don't sit right with many folks, I suppose, on the account of you all killing and destroying whole villages on a short changed whim. But I'll admit you've done good. He nods to the corner where a wooden chest lays unopened. It's all there, but I won't be offended if you need to count it. 
You do, can it? And it is indeed all there. Good to know. So they're still terrified, but... Alright, we can get rid of the wooden stick, at least. Hood... Hat. Let's see, how much food? Another six days of provisions. All right, who can we hire? Let's see another rat, ca rat catcher, rat catcher, disowned noble, which we can't afford, and monk. You know, I'll grab a monk. Why not? Let's see, you are a pessimist, which isn't particularly great, but... Oh well, it happens. Welcome aboard, Conrad. We'll at least give you some half... some decent... halfway decent stuff. Or try to, anyway. We'll also sell that monk robe. And the buckler. Knife, too, because knife's kind of worthless, honestly. Alright. Let's go deal with the... Did anyone level up there? No. No, they didn't. Alright, let's go deal with the undead. Though, quickly checking, are there any other... Nope. There sadly aren't... Any more... Any more headwear we can give out? Because at least some head of protection is better than none. Let's go visit a graveyard. Because we need more coinage. Munch, crunching, munching, the snicker-snacker of someone or something enjoying a good meal. As you step through the cemetery, you stumble across a clearing filled with... I don't know how to pronounce this, I'm just going to refer to them as ghouls. The hollowed over the remains what appears to have been a gra the grave robbers you were looking for. The hideous monsters slowly turn to you, the red eyes widening at the sight of fresh meat. Yep. Here come the ghouls. Thankfully, we actually have even numbers this time. Alright. Everyone step forward for the shield wall. We're gonna have bright ups at the end. My logic being, he can let, as long as everyone's holding together, we can just literally have Bright Ops just come through and clear. Alright. Lord Zell doesn't quite get the kill, but definitely got some damage down. Damn, didn't quite get him. Yes, the saw that Bright Ups has has the options of not only the overhead strike, which we saw before, but he can also swing. Unfortunately, at this stage, if we swung it, not only would we hit two of them, we would also potentially hit bloody Lone Wolf Jackson. One down. Yeah, thankfully our actual armor and gear for... It is probably the benefit is our one guy is actually pretty damn good at what he does. Just go down, you little... There we go. Didn't get the stun off, but we... 
Sadly, they're... Sadly, they haven't quite learned how to be accurate with their weapons yet. They're new. That's part of what survival's about. Alright. Thankfully... Run him down. And get one more kill. There we go. Let's see, a couple of light wounds, but they'll heal. We got some teeth, some fangs, some horns, and some money. So, so all in all, pretty damn, a pretty damn good run, all things considered. Like, could have been a hell of a lot worse. We are going to need to get some more tools in the near future, but... After the money. You find Heinrich the Merchant nestled in his chair, holding a candlelight, holding a candlelit close to a well-known scroll. He talks without looking up. My problem, did you take care of it? You nod. I wouldn't be standing here if I hadn't. Heinrich the Merchant tips his hand to the corner of his desk. Your payments, 190, 490 crowns, as agreed upon. So they're no longer terrified. And I'm pretty sure they're now friendly with us, so... Yay. Okay, what can we do with this stuff? Oh, we can make... Let's see, for some money... Let's see, a necklace fashioned from trophies taken from various schools declares the one wearing it a veteran of battle against feral beasts and not easily daunted. Which boosts our resolve. I'm more than happy to do that. Probably shouldn't have, but... Whatever. Let's see... God damn, this shit's ex Yeah, we'll... We'll pick it up solely because we've got a job immediately. While you wait for Heinrich the Merchant to explain what he needs your services for, you contemplate on how silent and eerie the whole settlement was when he first arrived. Heinrich the Merchant raises his voice. This place is cursed by the gods and haunted by unearthly beasts. They come in the nights with glowing red eyes and take lives at their whim. Most of our cattle are de is dead, and I fear that once there is no more, we will be next to be torn apart. The other day, we let sent our strongest lads out to find and kill the beasts, but we haven't heard from of them since. He sighs deeply. Follow the tracks and hunt down and kill those creatures so that we can live in peace again. We are not wealthy, but all chipped in to pay for your service. How much? He spec he gestures with his hands, pointing at his fingers as if counting something, but it means nothing to you. Judging from experience, this is a good payment for the task. You'll be paid 100 in advance, and another 400 when the job is done. Can we get more? Nope. We'll take it. And just for the sake of it... Yeah, we'll give Bright Ops, we'll have our necla our necklace of ghoul killing. Oh, we also have some level ups. Nice. Okay, health up. You need to be up too. I think a little bit of melee defense would probably do you some good. Plus some student. Student again. It's not, not necessarily good as, as a stat boost, but it's something. Alright. Defense. You don't quite need the health as much as you need resolve. Alright, do we have new hats? No. Annoying, but what can you do? Oh yes, we also gained fulfilled ambition because we're friendly with these people. Deciding that Slickendorf is a good place to invest your efforts, you decide to offer the protection of the company and take up any work suitable to your talents. You act like a gentleman in your dealings with the locals and encourage the men to mind their manners while in the settlement. There are, of course, some gr garp gaping at first, griping at first. Lone Wolf Jackson was sorely disappointed to give up brawling with the farmers, especially with the Dragon's Moor spending so much time in Slickendorf. But you convince the men to, that having a friendly base of operations is important in your line of work, as it meant getting better prices on the market and more people willing to join your motley band. It's also much less tiring not having to dodge the militia all the time. 
You even enlisted the men to do some small tasks in exchange for nothing but goodwill. I found that little brat who wandered off and dragged him right home. Lord Zel Zelbrags quickly outvied by Conrad. I went to the market for the old spinster, split her firewood for winter, and even put her out her washing, but I draw the line at rescuing treed cats. Yep, everyone's more eager, the renown's gone up, where oh hang on. Ah, there's the there we go, we've there's the trail. Alright. What are we hunting? Ah, more ghouls. Six of them this time. And they're all around us. Alright. Just putting this up to see what, what's possible, what's not. Okay, we can work with this. They're outnumbered, but... Not outgunned. Yeah, we'll put you here for the moment. Wait, no, no, that's a... Alright, let them come. I'd rather not go to them. Especially since they're all around us. Okay, shield up. Shield up. Well, if nothing else, the shield wall's up, so they can't really... Well, they can still get through, but... They're less likely to get through. Okay. Got rid of you. Got rid of you as well. So at least they're not being attacked from behind. I'm pretty sure we are in a position where they can't really strike us. Or at least they can't... They can't strike us in the same... ...forward spot that they would like to. Actually, hang on. Stay here. Uh, stay there, just for the... Okay, you, we missed you. Annoying. Okay, we'll wait for this... Pr we'll wait for the prick that's coming around to try and break through. Okay, good strike from Conrad. But it's dead now, so yay. Give you a turn of re to rest up. What the? Oh, you son of a 
That shit must. That bastard got a flipping headshot, didn't you? Well, we can hope he's not dead, but. <laughs> that might be hoping a bit too much. The exposed ribs. Ooh, that. That is definitely a temple healing. Because god damn, these bastards can really hurt. in trouble. We can at least pull him back, which is gonna help. Uh, it's yeah, it's running. Like, it's properly running. We're not gonna catch the little shit. Yeah, Argle's also dead, which... isn't great. But at least we got his stuff. We got his stuff back. Let's see, the fight over. You walked with dead ghoul and take a knee. Were it not for a gate for a gate of ill-shapen teeth, you could rather easily fit your head into the beast's oversized maw. Instead of admiring the dental failures at hand, you instead take out a knife and saw its head off, ripping through a very tough outer th layer of skin before, surprisingly, easily cutting through the muscle and tendons. You raise the head up and order the dragon's maw to follow suit. Heinrich the merchant is expecting some proof after all. Oh well. Well, we have our first casualty, but what can you expect? Let's see, you put the the ghoul's head on the on Heinrich the merchant's table. He looks up from a dinner plate, glances at the head, and then at you. I was eating, Selsword. The silverware clatters as the disgusted man shoves the plate aside. A servant whisks the food away, probably to try and eat it himself. Heinrich the merchant takes a satchel out and puts it on the table. Four hundred crowns is promised. So they're no longer being disappeared. See any... We can get some paint remover, but I really don't re want that. Alright. We need some replacements. Well, not replacements. We need some actual people. Two rat catchers seem appropriate. Ah, Conrad leveled up as well. Have some more health, some defense, and a bit easier time hitting things. And student to level up. Ooh, that cut artery. Cut artery and exposed ribs, goddamn. Well, on the plus side, you weren't exact. He wasn't exactly happy anyway, so. Like, it's not as if we're. Let's see. Dexterous and fear of green skins and insecure. Well, you're kind of. Yeah, we're definitely sticking with this. We'll keep them because we might as well and see if we can make something of them. Welcome aboard, Luca. And. Kula97. See, take. Oh, nets. Let's see, you get a shield and a hatchet. Give your mason a shield and see if we can get you some better armor. Which wouldn't be too hard, honestly. Let's 
Let's see, sell this crap. Yeah, we'll grab a thick tunic. That seems to be the... Yeah, we'll take a thick tunic and a spear. A militia spear would probably be useful. Let's see, who do we want to give this to, actually? Actually, we might swap that out for... Yeah. Let's see, still no hats? No. Oh well, nothing we can really do about it. Yeah, we'll pick up some mushrooms. Seems like a good idea. No more jobs in this region, so let's move on to the next. Preferably let, we'll head a bit north, because I don't want to go too far south. Because nomads suck. Beings, brigands don't particularly want to pick a fight with us. That's good. Alright, Fletcher, Marketplace, higher. Let's see. Well, on the plus side, we at least have some more hats. So that's a start. Let's see, you enter Eken Elrin Craig, and a man immediately approaches, triddling through the mud to get to you. He announces himself as someone of the employ of Rave the Steward, a man of some power in this town, and he, along with the thoughts and monies of others, had decided to seek your services. Let's see, step into R Rabe's, the steward's room, and he shoves a map into your face. I need a place found, cell sword. It lies east of here, or at, or at least near to the region of... That's or near the region of Markland. The laymen call it Hidden Graveyard, but whatever it is, I need to know where it is. Understand? Find it, and you'll be paid handsomely. 300 cloud? 310. We'll accept the... We'll accept this bounty. So, let's see, to the east of... Of M Markland. Okay. Relatively close by. Now here's the question. Do we want... Oh, I need more medical supplies. Falls to you, the commander, to see that the company succeeds not just on the battlefield, but also in fame and riches. And so you spend the evening pondering about a bigger plan for the dragons more in your tents while the men talk and laugh around the fire. You're never going to become a legend simply by chasing brigands and doing small-time contracts. Let's see... Let's see, complete eight more contracts, we'll at least establish ourselves as good mercenaries. Which is fair enough. Alright, where are you? Graveyard. We, admittingly, it's pro if, we, if we've missed it because we can't, we approached during the night and didn't see the damn thing. I'm gonna be pissed. Then again, it could, could also easily be somewhere in the trees. Waving his hand rather friendly like a man approaches, you respond by unsheathing your sword halfway. He laughs. So many are interested in the hidden graveyard, so I can't fault you for being so defensive. Look, I'll tell you exactly where it's at. Just close by into the west if you're on the plains. He heads off cackling with laughter. I don't know if I've done good or ill, and that's just the sort of fun I like. So, somewhere this way. There's your ba- there it is, you bastard. 
Let's see. Hang on. Just having a look at the state our people are in. Alright, forgot to equip hats. I would love to assault this place, but at this but at this stage. Considering just the state our people are in, I would rather just take the money. Be a bit easier. Get more gear, get some actual supplies going. Cause I'll admit we're not exactly floundering, but we're not exactly doing amazing either. Let's see, Rabe the steward welcomes you back. You hand over your recently illustrated map and he pours over it, swatting the spotted mark on the back of his hand with the back of his hand. Of course that's where it is. He smirks and pays you what you're owed. Okay, no they're doing some witch burnings and rebuilding efforts. Fair enough. Oh, more hats. Wonderful. We'll finally, we might actually ha finally have enough to bloody... <laughs> to bloody do some things with it. Everyone's got a hat at this stage. Oh no, we'll go a proper one. Alright. Anyone we can hire? No, we cannot afford to do so. Oh, we actually have a... Damn, we could actually have hired a witch hunter, but no, we can't afford that, so... Alright, next... next place. Let's go. Like, admittedly, we also we do need some more tools at some point, but... Yeah, we're not fighting some... we're not fighting the brigands as much as it would be good money for... for us to do so. But not really good... necessarily good money, just money, period. Alright. So you... don't really deal with us? Let's see. Rolf, the guildmaster, standing by his window, peering out while nursing a mug of mead. He doesn't really seem to be focused on anything in particular, and he even talks if he doesn't... he couldn't care less about the conversation. Great, robbers are plundering the cemetery. Again, I'm not really asking much of you, Sellsword, other than you go there and put an end to this foolish business. Go to that cemetery and kill every grave robber you see. Got it? Good. For 500 bucks. Secure hidden grave? Oh. Okay. Like, we got paid three, we got paid good money to find the place. Now we're going to be paid to purge it. I mean, it'll do. Let's see how many... Tell you what, we will... We'll set up camp for the night, we'll attack at dawn, because I'm hoping that the extra day will give people a chance to... Well, mostly Conrad the chance to be patched up a bit more. Alright, we're probably as good as we're gonna get. The cemetery is layered in fog. That or a thick miasma given off by the dead. Wait, that is the dead. Toms! Alright, seven... Seven bony boys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Lord Zell forward. You can go forward as well. Conrad can be up near the end. Because he's got the least health, I'd rather him not be in the middle of fighting.
Let the dead come. Let's see, shield wall all around. Because I'll admit I wasn't quite sure if they would get the attack off. Let's see if we can break through. Okay, shield up with you, Conrad. We need you alive. But well, we don't need you al necessarily need you need you alive, but life would be good. This prick's a dodgy bastard. I mean, we've swung twice with an 80% chance to hit and miss both times. There we go. Zombie dead. Well, at least the first one is. They m they'll probably come back, but... Alright, can't move to support. And if nothing else, when they're beheaded, we know that they die, so... Alright, last one down. Honestly, could have been a lot worse. Oh, and got another spear and some money. Because, you know, free weapons, we're not going to turn down free free weapons. Even more so if they're good weapons. Alright. Health, defense, bit better with your sword, bit better with the sword. And we'll give you Colossus so that you can not, oh wait, we missed, missed another one. Lone Wolf got one, some stuff too. Defense, do health. And Colossus, so that you aren't killed. Is there another one? Did I miss one? No, no, I didn't miss another one. Okay. Alright, gonna, yeah, gonna need to buy some more tools, but thankfully we're gonna have the cash for that. See, Ralph the Guildmaster listens to your report, then slowly leans back into his chair. There's been a lot of rumors concerning these things. The dead walking about. He stares at his desk, then angrily looks at you. Nonsense! I won't believe it. You'll get 500 crowns as we agreed upon. You will not squeeze any more from me for, for, with these these lies. You really should have pulled a head or two back, but then again, a dead head looks ho remarkably similar to an undead one. Yeah, fair enough. Let's see, marketplace. We needed some. T God. Damn, these things are expensive. Bast... cheap bastards. Alright, we'll pick up some armor, pick up another hood. Can't really afford the two guys who are there, but... Heinrich... Heinrich looks solemnly at the ground. He unfurls a scroll, showing you a face. 
This is Gestov, a brigand at large, who we captured the other day. He once led an outfit of, of vagrants that used to hurry and raid our town day and night. Problem is, he's not really the head of a snake, but one head of a hydra. Kill one criminal head, another takes its place. So that's... so what's the answer? Why, well, kill them all, of course, and that's exactly what I want you to do, Cell Sword. Are you interested? For 490? Can we boost... yep, 490. Alright, hang on. How much food? Two days of food? That's... Well, we can... Well, some roots and berries aren't gonna hurt us. Let's see, where are we going? There we are. Purse cut is cover. Fortified wooden encampment used by outlaws to snatch their loot, rest in between raids, and play drinking games. Alright, enough food for six. That'll, do. That'll cover us for now. Fortifications and brigand thugs. All right. Conrad, I'm not entirely sure if your ribs are still exposed or not. Still, we can have you on that on that flank, if nothing else. Ah uh, yes, Lash is, Lash is a particularly good one because it's a 100% chance to hit the head. So, in a situation like this, where... Well, you've got... You frankly have people who are not wearing headgear. It is particularly effective. You got the stun off, you prick. Yeah, you can go around. Why not? And there goes your damn buckler. Pretty sure we just, yep, ripped his ear. Ooh, cut artery. Ah. Thankfully, our main guys, our main guys' actual defenses are pretty good, so. And he does a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, god damn it, Luke is down. There goes your head.
Let's see who's. Down we go. Yep, Luke is gone. <laughs> a shame, but nothing we can, not a lot we can do about it. At the very least, we got some decent stuff from this raid to actually equip the next bastard we eventually bring into our ranks. Or at the very least, hang on. Yeah. A little bit of an improvement there, because at the very least we got some proper armor for... Yeah. Some de halfway decent armor for various people. Would be nice. Alright, we'll put your resolve up a little bit, because... God damn, you need it. All right, right. Oops. What do we want to do with you? I'll put up your defenses to start with. And we'll boost your resolve, because why not? Let's see, Sword Mastery. Well, main reason I'm grabbing it is not only does it lower the fatigue, but it also means that he's too... Because the problem with sw Split and Swing is that it starts off with you having a lower chance to hit. We just got rid of that, so... That will be useful. Let's see, Heinrich sips his goblin and nods. You know, I don't take kindly to your sort, but he did a good job, mercenary. Torheim reported to me before you even got here that all the brigands had been slain. It was some mighty fine work, by the way he describes it, and well, he heaves the satchel onto the desk. He is a mighty fine pay, as promised. Alright, can't really do anything with you. We could afford this guy, but that would just literally be all of our money. And I'd rather not do that. Because we kind of need the cash! But, let's see... No, we're gonna... We'll take the wood. We're gonna do something we haven't... We're, we haven't done this in a while. We're gonna take some of the wood. Sell some of the weapons we're not using. Because that will give us... Four days to get somewhere. Namely, Drickenveld over here. Which has ruins! Yeah! Oh wait, ruins but a lumber camp. So... Hmm. Rebuilding is going to depend very much on if they're... that short of supply. Yep, rebuilding efforts, so we can sell? How much can we sell for? Not enough. Not a whole lot. Simply because... Yeah, I guess that makes sense, because they can actually produce lumber on their own. Wait, what would they... Completely forgot to check. <laughs> and we can't hunt... Well, we can get a day teller at some point, but not right now. A bird is perched on Heinrich the Burgmaster's window. The man, seated, points at it. I wonder if how that, that, that's how they got in, the brigands, I mean. I think they must have snuck through a window and then right back out. That's how they got away with my lockbox. The man slowly raises and stalks across the room. He crouches, about ready to pounce on the bird, but the creature scatters before the man can so much as flinch. Damn. He returns to his seat, wiping his hands as he's worked up a sweat during his attempted avian ambush. My task is simple. Sell sword, get my, bring my property back to me, kill the brigands too, if you wouldn't mind. For three, four... 350. Let's see, Lord Zell the Rat Catcher has earned his old vocation's namesake. Apparently, he's been rounding up rats as, 
as your party has been traveling about. Tonight they all escaped. Some of the food stocks need to be thrown away and a few men are fallen ill. God damn it. How much... Like, okay, we can make do, but... Like, it's not the worst thing ever, but... Okay, broken nose, sick, and sprained ankle. You know what? I think we, we can safely put Kel Kel Kale in reserve for now. Because I am fairly confident we can take care of this job and this without them. Let's see, seven brigands against our four people. But, we can at least force them into a position where... They have to... Yeah, we can, for we can force them. We've got a good defensive location. Put a shield up just for... Because I'm pretty sure they're going to be coming. Alright, one already cut down. Good start. Ah, uh, the fuck, they knocked off his... They knocked off his helmet. Pricks! They also destroyed his shield. That's not good. Alright, swing. Three for the price of one! Good at bloody job write-offs. <laughs> oh god, I'm talking third person, aren't I? <laughs> the madness has set in. <laughs> the madness is... Oh! God damn! I do believe this last guy has figured out he does not want any of this. <laughs> You know what? Just let him go. We don't... He's... I'm happy with what we've got. Well, you found your... You found your responsibility in... Those responsible for stealing the lockbox and put them to the sword. Now you just need to put the lockbox back... You need to put the lockbox back in his hands and get your reward. Okay. Oh yes, you use a f wooden frail. Reinforced, so... Yeah, definitely a major improvement there. If nothing else. Whoa, that was barbarians. When you enter Hank the Hank's room, there are a host of guards surrounding him. For a second, you think you've stumbled upon a coop, but the man cl men clear out, leaving behind dice and cards. H Hank the bo Hank the boardmaster waves you in. Come, come, I've just lost a good deal of crown. Sell sword, perhaps you bought something to help ease my pains? You take out the lockbox and hold it in your hand. Rather gingerly, the man takes it. Good, very good. Your pay, of course, is here. He hands over a satchel of crowns while turning around in his chair. He seems too consumed by the artifact to say anything else. All right. Well, we can get rid of that to start with. And I think we... I think we might leave it there. For now, anyway. Wait, was there a level... Yes, there were level ups. We'll finish... We'll at least do this first. Bring your health up. Make you a bit more accurate. And Colossus to make it so you're not going to be as inclined to fall. Health. Health. 
attack and defense. And we'll boost your resolve, I think. Because it needed to be higher. Alright. You need some work, but that's... Fine. And I think, yes, we'll finish off by bringing a new, per bringing a new person into the fold. Let's see, no positives or negatives, so... That's good. And we will go with Grey Vested. Who, honestly, is a good a good name. We've had some good good work with them in the past. Yeah, we'll give you a spear and a shield. Like I probably could afford to break to get a secondary line or some lineman or something. Like like a like a jab or whatever, but I think we'll start with a spear line. We'll start with the proper line. And from here on out, we'll try and replace and get some new people in the back row. But until next time, my name is Brodops. I look forward to hearing from you. Take care.